Hey guys, I want to show one of my favorite attacks from the closed guard. So this is the classic uh, dr uh, sleeve drag position from closed guard. So often I base my attacks based off of what grips the guy has when I'm in closed guard. The two most common are either both low where he's on the hip, one high, one low where he's got one lapel, one on the hip, and then both up high, okay? This situation is usually when the guy is in this position, but I can do it if he had both high as well. In this case, I'm gonna start with a cross sleeve grip. I'm gonna pummel underneath and grab my own wrist. I wanna focus on breaking his grip first. So the way I go about this is I'm gonna make it like a position like this with my wrist so it's like strong and we'll kind of buckle under his wrist here, right? What I don't wanna do is I don't wanna push with the sleeve to break the grip, I wanna lead with this. And then I'm gonna kind of have this position and drive up that way to break. So this part of my um, wrist is gonna drive right into this kind of soft part of his wrist right here. Right, so he's holding, I get this cross sleeve, I go up high here, I wanna get really high right under the hand, and I drive up to break. Once I break this grip, the next thing I wanna do is focus on grabbing his wrist. Because if I just try to drag straight across here, I don't really control where his hand goes, and he's gonna regrip. And if he gets a regrip, I can't fully drag it across, right? So I wanna break here, now I'm gonna grab like this. Usually he's gonna start trying to grab the lapel, kind of like a murder choke, right? So as he tries to go, I'm gonna guide this across. If I can, I wanna to try to guide under, but sometimes it goes across, you can't always control that. Okay, I try to take slack out from this as much as I can. Once I get here, I'm gonna fast switch behind the elbow. Once I get behind the elbow, now if he tries to pull his hand back to grab across, it's like I have a block and it's stopping from getting back to this, and I have control here. From here, I'm gonna unlock my legs and put my left foot on the floor and trip out to the side fast like this. He's gonna be trying to pull his elbow back, I'm gonna pull it back really hard, right? So I'm not gonna be able to just drag him across. When the guy's actually fighting, this is a bit more tough, right? So he's not just gonna fall really, he's not, yeah, he's not just gonna fall and make it really easy for me to sit up, right? So a lot of times he'll pull his elbow back, even like all the way to his hip like this, and I'm gonna lock in position, I unlock, and I wanna shrimp my body out and focus on getting my chest behind his tricep. Once I get here, I'm gonna fast grip around the back and try to walk over around his armpit tricep area like this, right, and get a grip here. From here, there's two main finishes I'm gonna look for. The first one is I threaten to go for the back. So from here, I'm just gonna take my right elbow uh, on the floor, my left foot will go on the floor here like this, and I'm gonna try to pull my leg out. I like to teach it that way in the beginning, I'm pulling the leg out, because a lot of people go here and they try to go straight to the back, but when this leg's stuck, it's hard, right? So this left foot goes on the floor, I put my toes down, I pull my right leg out. Once I get my knee out about this far, it's much easier to throw this hook around and start working my way to the back, right? So that's the first finish, okay? The second finish in this situation, again, we start with the cross sleeve, grab our own wrist, pop up the brake as he tries to regrip. I grab the wrist, or keep trying to grab really hard. So I use that to help guide across like this, catch behind the elbow. As he pulls back really hard, I lock in there, I unlock my leg quick, and I shrimp out to the side, and I have to try to move around, even if I have to sit up really high like this, until I lock in. Once I get my chest behind the tricep, he can't pull his arm back easily. From here, I can let go of the seat if I need, elbow on the floor, left foot touches the floor, pull this leg all the way out, and I go around to the back. So another common situation once I get here is as he feels you trying to, to pull out and get around the back here, he'll start kind of trying to drive his weight in you to go chest to chest, right? Let's do that way just a little bit. Okay, so here you're gonna to try to like turn your chest into me. Yeah, exactly, he tries to pin you down. So as you're trying to get around, he's trying to keep his weight loaded on you. From here, I'm gonna grab his pants near the knee and I hold this in. He can't pose with his hand this way because I have his arm locked across the body. From here, I hold in tight, grab this material near the armpit. I'm gonna throw both legs up really high. I wanna off balance him a bit overhead. That's gonna make it easy to flip him over to the left side like this, up here into the mouth with a classic pendulum sweep. So one time, we're here. Okay, we're here like this. I pop the brake, he tries to grip. We control, we push it across. From here, I switch to the tricep. Left foot goes on the floor, I shrimp out, sit up quick and now I lock in. My uh, uh, chest is behind his tricep. As I'm trying to get here, he tries to load his body right into me, rotating his chest, chest to chest, like this. I grab here, I rotate up, and flip over, right? Scoot it one time. And the last variation in this series is I'll be here, I break, we go across, I scoot out, and sometimes he tries to hold your hip in really tight, like he just did there, and he's pulling in this way, but he's also not driving me down. So when his arm is really low like this, trying to hold the hip in, a lot of times here it's really easy to reach around to get this like deep collar grip. And from here I can just fall back and throw my leg up and just pull and get like a classic collar choke type uh, from the back type finish. Okay, so one more time. Here he's got the lapel. 
We cross grip, we go underneath, focus on this strong uh, wrist position, right underneath his wrist. We pop, pop up there to break it, catch the wrist as he tries to grab, we use that force to go across, behind, jump out, we come up here. If he stays down and holds my hips in tight, I come around and grab this grip here, fall back, you can throw the leg up and get this really tight here. You can go there for the end. All right, guys, uh, I'm in the process of making the how to study properly video, so I'm just taking my time on it. I want to make sure because I'm doing a bit of video editing and mixing stuff in. Uh, if you guys like the content, the best way to help is always like, share, subscribe, and tell your friends. Thanks a lot.